everybody, Todd Cooperrider here from Esoteric. Just taking a little Sunday drive here, beautiful Columbus, Ohio, in the summer. And if it's Sunday, that means we just got off of another Saturday of car shows. Pretty much have them every single Saturday this summer. Not many breaks. We get to see a lot of... Uh, a lot of cool stuff, talk to a lot of cool people, show off the car a bit. So now, a chance to go out, take a little drive, have a little bit of fun, <clears throat> talk to you guys about today's latest detailing subject, which just happens to be about show cars. We have been to just about every kind of show car out there from your local cars and coffee gathering to your major shows pebble beach cavallino everything in between we see some real consistencies out there and the biggest thing that we noticed is that most show cars look horrible uh, you wonder how in the world could a show car look so bad particularly with those who have spent a tremendous amount of money having cars restored. You look at Pebble Beach Cavallino, somebody spent easily half a million dollars. That car is insane. Half a million dollars on uh, restoration, only to find that the paint looks like crap. Or you just have your normal car, be it a Corvette, Porsche, Ferrari, whatever, and you go to the event and you look at them and the paint is all swirled up, it's got buffer marks or holograms from uh, improper polishing on it, everything in between. How is that possible? People do such a good job of taking care of uh, these cars or they think they do a good job of taking care of these cars, so how can the paint look so bad? We'll pull up to a car show, either in our Esoteric Edition Z06 here, or other cars that we've prepped, and you take a look at ours, and it looks like the vehicle glows by comparison, like it's plugged in. Other cars are dull and muted. Doesn't matter if it's brand new, <clears throat> they're just missing so much. And the reason that is, is because of how they're being taken care of could be improper washing and drying and when I say improper it implies that there's a proper way and to learn about the proper way just click this above here take you to a video that we've done on proper washing and drying anyhow so it could be washing and drying techniques and one of the big culprits is the ritualistic scratching of the cars at the car show. People drive their cars to the show. Then they uh, break out the dirty microfiber towel that they bought at AutoZone or someplace, cheap microfiber, with a cheap quick detailer or something, because a quick detail bottle says you can use it between washings. So it must be true, right? And then they begin to wipe their cars down improperly. Okay, I just had to get that out of my system. Um, and there's a proper way and an improper way to do that as with anything detailing. And uh, I'll make a separate video on uh, how to properly wipe down cars at a show or in between whatever you want to avoid it as much as possible but sometimes it's kind of inevitable but what happens people drive their cars to the shows and uh, they're driving across town they're driving long distances uh, whatever the case may be and the car is getting covered in debris from the road Debris from the road is different from dust just sitting in your garage. Debris from the road is abrasive. 
So they pull up at the show, cars all covered in abrasive debris. They break out that scratchy, cheap microfiber and the bottle of uh, off-the-shelf quick detailer, and they start rubbing the car down. It's usually one towel the whole time, rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, grinding. All that is doing is scratching, causing swirls, causing micro scratches. But they're so worried about having dust on their car. What they end up doing is trying to get the dust off or the debris off, scratching the car. Me personally, I would much rather have a car with perfect paint, brilliant shine to it, that's got a little bit of dust on it. It looks great underneath. So you go around, you take a look at these cars in the sunshine, no surprise, they're just covered in swirls. And that's a major investment to get the, those fixed. Some people may try to argue that, well, you can't have a car that you drive or, or show and have it perfect at the same time. Well, that's actually wrong. This car here and other customers of mine, I mean, I've taken this car, I've driven it in the snow, the slush, the rain, the racetrack, and it remains swirl free. Not because we're buffing and polishing things on it all the time, it's because we're using the right methods of washing, drying, wiping down, so on and so forth. So you can have a car that you're taking care of and, and have it uh, swirl free. So whether it's a driver car or whether it's uh, your prized show car, it can still look very, very good. You know, one example of, uh, of this <coughs> As we were down at the Cavallino show, down in Palm Beach, which is the biggest Ferrari show that there is, and we had an amazing Ferrari Daytona that we had worked on show there. It was absolutely beautiful. A couple cars in front of us <coughs> was another Daytona that was being featured in a very popular television show that they had done a full restoration on it. TV crew was there covering the whole thing. They were speaking with uh, the host of the TV show, did the restoration. They were speaking with the uh, owners of the car. <clears throat> and I looked over at the TV show host, and he was just rubbing away at this car with one microfiber towel, some quick detailer, try to get the dust off for the show. I went over there, and the paint looked like hell. There was no comparison whatsoever in the car that we just did, and this beautiful, fully restored Ferrari Daytona was being featured on a very popular TV show. Start with 650 horsepower and 650 pounds of torque, and you send the car off to Lingenfelder Performance. And it's very easy to do what we just did there. Anyhow, back to this uh, car. Car looked like hell. No comparison whatsoever. So even people in the restoration business or automotive experts, so to speak, for the most part, they have no clue how to properly take care of these cars and getting them looking good, keep them looking good. So whether you're a restoration person, you're a detailer, uh, you're just a guy who's very um, proud of a uh, car takes the shows, you need to learn some proper techniques on it because chances are when you're wiping your car down at these shows, you're doing much more damage than you are good. And people worry about uh, shows, judges at shows, you know, the, the judging industry in this business is uh, pretty much ridiculous in, in my opinion. Most of these people have zero clue what a swirl even is, let alone how to get rid of them. They may think it's uh, old school that you have to sand a car down to get it looking right. <clears throat> So, instead, we choose to worry about whether it's the original 
hose clamp or light bulbs working inside a glove box, that takes more precedence on how well the paint looks. Quite frankly, the paint is the first thing that you notice on any kind of vehicle, especially a show vehicle. But they have no idea. It's actually a, uh, a real shame. So what we're doing when we're going to car shows and we're expected to make sure that they're dust free, that's to me like tripping over a pallet full of gold to get to a dollar bill. Why worry about dust if it means that you're tearing up the car's paint? So, moral of the story is, show cars typically look bad. Most people have no clue on how to properly take care of them. And as a result, we have a lot of swirled up bad paint finishes in the car show world. But we can fix that. We as detailers can fix that. We can go around to car shows. We can speak to car show judges. And we can try to change that culture. We can educate people on how to do it right and how we're doing it wrong, making sure we're using the right materials, make sure that we're using the right techniques. And the show cars of the world out there will be much better as a result. So if you are a detailer watching this, please work with your customers. Teach them how to take care of their cars the right way at show cars. Work with dealerships. Work with body shops. Work with restoration shops. Make sure everybody is doing it right. Then you can come back. We'll make sure and film a video of how to properly wipe down uh, these cars. Something that sounds so simple, uh, it, it's very rare for somebody to actually be doing it right. So if you want your car to look great, stay tuned. Watch more videos that we're going to be producing. And we look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks.